G'day folks, welcome to my uh, motor vlog. Um, yeah, it's another glorious day in far north Queensland, so well, what else would you do but go for a ride? Anyhow, one thing I wanted to talk about. Um, something happened to me uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, with my phone. I, um, I, I received a, a missed call, so I called it back, and um, the uh, lady at the other end said no, she was received a missed call from my number, and she was ringing me back, and I thought, oh, well, that was unusual. Hmm, well, anyway, didn't worry a bit too much about it. About half an hour later, I received another call, I answered it, and the bloke at the, that end said, oh, I missed a call from this number. And um, it was, uh, mm, no, I don't even know who you are, and don't even know your number. Anyhow, um, this happened a few times uh, that evening, and I thought there was something a bit sus about it. So I had a uh, uh, chat with my son, who's uh, fairly IT savvy, and said, well, yeah, what's going on here? He had a bit of a look, and he said, oh, it looks like, um, yeah, your, your phone number is being used to mark other people's numbers. So basically, um, some low-life, scum sucking bottom dweller out there has captured my phone number and is using it to mask their own number while making scam calls. Go figure. This uh, went on through the next day and, and one thing there was a bit of a pattern and the pattern was uh, in Australia, I don't know about other countries, but in Australia a mobile number has uh, nine digits. What I noticed was the first six digits of uh, the calls that I, or the missed calls I was receiving or callbacks were always the same. It was the last three numbers that were um, there, changing. But not all over the place, that was slowly increasing. Uh, not consecutively, because I, I dare say that people actually answered the call, and, but those that missed the call would ring me back and get me. So, yeah, and so talking to my son, he said, yeah, some years ago there was an app available on the app stores, any of the app stores, which you could download, and that would allow you to make a phone call and um, basically uh, mask your number on the caller ID with somebody else's number. Now, these were made illegal uh, to download and to sell, uh, mainly because the authorities cotton bond to the fact that uh, scammers were using these numbers to um, mask, or using this app to mask their number with, say, a police station or something like that. Something, you know, um, yeah, of that nature. So people were getting scammed. So obviously uh, this is what was happening. So, you know, you need to be wa watch out out there and see what's going on. Now, mine went on for a few days. Ah. But I got onto the, uh, my telco, which um, the telecommunication company is one of the major ones in Australia. Um, I won't name it. Uh, it was, um, let's just say it... Uh, several decades ago, or maybe 30, 40, 40 years ago, was uh, part of Australia Post. 
so those of you in Australia have gotten on who it, oh, I'm talking about. Uh, I thought I'd give them a call and say, hey, this is the situation. Um, and dealing with uh, this lot uh, over the phone was actually impossible because the number that they provide for uh, troubleshooting and technical support uh, was always telling me that I had to ring during business hours and this was business hours um, because the office was closed so hey couldn't do anything with that so I went on the net and they, there was a messaging system so I dealt through the messaging system tried to explain several times just leaving messages and you know having one of these virtual chat things with somebody uh, to sort it out well you know that that was yeah <coughs> How shall I say? I think I should have put up with the bloody scam calls and then deal with that. But anyway, in the end, uh, the guy sent me a text message say someone will contact me in a couple of two, in two business days and uh, work out a solution. I thought, all right, fair enough. Then he and I, I actually said to him, "Is this going to impact me personally?" I didn't get a response to that. All I got was, if you need uh, more information, ring this number, which I had been trying to ring. So, you know, I got the royal run around. To cover myself off, I reported the, the this so-called scam to uh, Scamwatch, which is part of the ACCC and the, and the federal uh, police, so that it was a record there that Hey, I was trying to do everything I can to resolve the issue. A couple of days went by. No resolution from the telco. Nobody had run me, so I decided I'd go into one of their stores in town. So I went into the store and I said, this is my issue. She said, oh, you could go on the net. And I said, no, that don't work. I can show you all the screenshots that I took for the uh, the chat that I had with that guy. And I'm still waiting for a return call. And she went off, came back, said, there's only really one solution, and that is basically to change your phone number. So I had to relent my mobile number, which I'd had for 20 years and get a new phone number. Yeah, that was a bit of a... One thing I did note, as I mentioned about the um, the numbers, the, the phone numbers uh, steadily increasing, is I was getting all these calls, um, so obviously uh, it was a, some sort of automatic system because they were dialing up through the numbers and when it got to I, would, I didn't get a, a return call from it but it, I'd say when it got to uh, the last three numbers being 999 it then reverted next one up so the first six numbers went up by one and then it started all over again so yeah, a lot of people missed the calls, and all those that were mi that run me back, I explained to them what was going on. I suggested that uh, they just uh, block the number, my number, so they don't get any return calls from these um, low life. Yeah. Anyhow, as I said, I went to. Uh, the uh, telco store and got my number changed and that was a real it was easy to get the, the number changed but afterwards you know have to had to notify everyone that my number had changed which, which was relatively easy just a, a group sms to all my contacts and that's fine but then i had to go through and work out okay I use uh, like a um, two or three step verification for security where they send you an SMS to your phone uh, and you have to uh, enter in a uh, code. 
whenever you're logging into somewhere. So yes, so I had to go through, I spent half a day just going through all yeah, all my details, my banking, my, yeah, everything. Uh, and sorting out, changing phone number and all that sort of stuff, which was a real, right pain. So, look, all I'm saying is, look, keep an eye out uh, in case you get something like that. Um, let your, everyone of your friends and family know so if something like this happens, I think the best way to do it is to officially report it so that you don't um, you're not liable for anything that may come come out of it and change your number so yeah uh, yeah I'll pretty well cheesed off about this whole situation anyway it's over now and now I'm going on a uh, awesome ride on this glorious day. So folks, um, hey, uh, keep safe, keep well, uh, and uh, have a good one. And until next time, uh, please, oh, before I go, please share, like, and subscribe. Uh, for those that are, that are new, um, the subscription is just down there. Uh, if you're interested in uh, any other content that I may put up and give that uh, bell a knock on the head that way it'll notify you when I put up new content so yep for now till next time cheers